Hey, it's Ben here, and in this quick tutorial and demo, I'm going to show you how to create a high converting live video webinar and webinar replays without the cumbersome or very expensive software like GoToWebinar, how you can rank these webinar replays in Google and YouTube, and talk about why webinars are essentially replacing the video sales letter because of their mass massive conversion rates. And it's pretty much essential for anyone in any niche or industry to uh, start incorporating these into your selling. And I'm going to be demonstrating a new and very inexpensive tool you can use in combination with Google Hangouts on Air or another live streaming site that essentially turns your free Google Hangout to a live webinar uh, interactive experience that can register users with landing pages. Um, and I and you can see I have this pulled up here. The tool is called Webinar Hero. Um, it can uh, register people with landing pages. Uh, there's thank you pages, um, controls for your live webinar, like question and answer sessions, um, webinar replays, and a lot more stuff that I'll be demonstrating at, at the end very quickly. And basically, if you've heard of a program called Webinar Jam by Andy Jenkins and Mike Phil Same, this is essentially the same thing as that. Now, the only difference is that you can get uh, access to this, and this is a uh, 100% cloud-based. This isn't a, a, um, a uh, plug-in or anything. Um, and you can get this to for essentially going to the cost of going to like McDonald's. Well, the webinar jam, I think, is at least over 300 per year to use now. Webinars are the best-selling tool there is online right now, with some people seeing over 20% conversions, that's right, on just a laid-back webinar, not something that's even high-pressured or salesy. And these uh, convert video, these out convert video sales letters, which is why you often see large ticket items being sold on webinars, because it just won't convert as well through a like fake or a, a video sales letter on replay. Webinars are essential to marketing products because they create a sense of event around your ideas, information, and uh, products or goods you're selling. This builds traffic and positive awareness, and webinars uh, give you a live dimension to your selling which you can teach and answer questions in real time to close people and get them to buy and people are just happier to spend money with people that they know and trust and nothing can do that better online than using webinars to sell and these are and webinars are an amazing list building tool I don't know about you but uh, every day I see a picture of Lewis Howes on my Facebook trying to get me to uh, opt in to his webinar to watch it and Amy Porterfield and the reason uh, this is and all the big marketers now pretty much use webinars to build their list is because the conversions are so good you can run things like paid traffic from Facebook ads to your uh, webinar registration pages and webinar that you normally couldn't run to a regular video sales letter and you can even do this even if the webinar is just on replay so that being said, let's get into how you can create your own high converting webinar very easily. And first we need to start at the Google Hangouts and briefly explain how these work and how you can make money with them for you or your clients. And first, it's important to mention though that Google Hangouts on Air is not a marketing tool. Uh, that's not what it was designed to do. And this is uh, what essentially the webinar is gonna run on but it needs to be done in a, uh, with a third party tool in conjunction with something like this webinar hero. It's gonna turn it into the real selling experience that can register people and sell them. Now, if you don't wanna do the live uh, Hangouts on Air route, then the only other option is to use one of the older solutions like GoToWebinar. But the reason that everyone's not doing that is because GoToWebinar is $400 a month to use and it can only, you can only have 500 people at a time on your webinar. So that's kind of why um, only the, the rich are kind of getting richer because they can afford that $400 per month and everyone else is kind of falling behind because there's a high barrier to entry uh, to do these types of webinars. So anyway, um, to get started with Google Hangouts, there's a number of ways you can start your Hangouts on air. But one of the easiest is just to go to YouTube and click Upload. So then it's going to ask us to fill in some information about your uh, Hangout. 
and then you can either have it start right now or you can schedule it later uh, which is the time your webinar will go live if you want to schedule it in the future and then you just click share and then to start it um, you just click start the hangout on air and that will open the controls which you can use uh, to interact with it and also you see these other things over here and uh, these can allow you these are apps that you can activate if you want them on your webinar which I'll explain and also there's like a trailer thing that you can uh, shoot a trailer uh, or something like an introduction for your hangout but to start it just click start and my browser is a little slow it normally doesn't take this long so this is where you invite guests onto your webinar now these aren't the people who are going to be watching the webinar uh, these guests are going to be the people who uh, like you're a co-host with so these are you can have up to 10 people on your hangout and these are going to be like uh, someone you're doing a joint venture with or someone you're doing the webinar with so with Google Hangouts you can actually have unlimited number of viewers so something like GoToWebinar you can have 500 seats at max well for Hangouts you can have uh, unlimited number of seats so if you want to invite someone you just type in their name or address but we're just going to click skip and then now it's going to uh, load the hangout okay so now we have the option of starting the broadcast uh, I'm just gonna turn the camera off but basically what would happen is um, uh, if you had the camera on it would show your face talking I don't have that set up right now um, but uh, what you can do is this would start the broadcast and you can stop it and then to close this or stop the entire hangout you go up and press leave call and then these other uh, settings here this this turns on the camera or off the camera this is the microphone control you can invite people if you if you didn't do that before already and then over here are uh, different apps you can add um, which will make your hangout a more interactive experience. Uh, so, for example, you can use this chat one, uh, the screen share one. So instead of recording yourself, uh, basically you can hit the screen share button and uh, it will record a, a, uh, uh, your screen. So what people can do is you can actually use uh, PowerPoint in conjunction with the screen share and you can have like a your webinar can be PowerPoint slides. So it doesn't have to, so it doesn't have to be uh, your face or another presenter's face. But you can actually um, there's a tool in PowerPoint where you uh, instead of making it full screen, you can make the PowerPoint just a window. And then you screen share, hit the screen share button, and choose that window to share. So it's like you're giving a PowerPoint presentation for your webinar. Uh, there's a question and answer app you can activate uh, you can capture a thing on the webinar um, and the hangout toolbox um, we don't have to go through all that but basically that will allow you to uh, search and add some more apps uh, for example uh, you can do um, a low what's called lower third and if you just hit on to activate this app, uh, what it would do is, I don't know if it's going to do it here because I have the camera off. But what it will do is it basically it will show your name uh, under who's ever presenting or whoever has the, uh, the camera on them. It will sh uh, show their name and uh, some other uh, information or website that you can add here to your Hangout. And there's different uh, apps, again, you can go through uh, to make your Hangout more of an interactive experience. Um, and then finally, uh, down here will show you how many people are watching it. 
uh, if you're off air or not. And then uh, the links part here uh, will allow you to go to the event, the event page, uh, which you can go to start the hangout or control it. Uh, the YouTube page is where they can watch it. And this video embed that you can uh, embed the hangout on your website or somewhere and the viewers will watch it from there. Um, so if you're using the Hangouts in conjunction with a third-party tool to do your webinar, this is the code you'd want to copy because it's going to embed this uh, Hangout that people are going to watch um, in the uh, in the web page that everyone's going to go to, like the webinar page. And the best part is that Google Hangouts automatically will record this webinar you're going to be presenting. And Hangouts typically rank better in YouTube and Google than uh, just uploading a plain recorded video to YouTube. So you can use this to get additional traffic after you give the presentation as well. So you don't have to really be selling anything. Like you can do a question and answer session to get some content out. Then after it automatically records the webinar, you can add some keywords in and it will actually rank better in YouTube and Google because uh, it came from Hangouts. And like I said, you can't really pull off a webinar just with the Google Hangouts because if you give them this link uh, to watch it with like the YouTube page, it's just going to kind of go to YouTube and look like a regular video or there's not going to really be uh, any way to register people or uh, get them there all at the same time, stuff like that. So that's where the webinar hero comes into play that I want to show you. So let's go right back to that. So the webinar hero really make the Google Hangouts into a real selling experience. So this is a cloud-based solution. What you have to do is log in to your account and uh, you see the different tabs here and you can customize each one of these tabs uh, to uh, do whatever you want for your webinar. But first let's start at the stats and leads tab. And basically what this will do is it will show um, uh, how many people, some statistics to how many people have gone to your landing page, uh, your thank you page, uh, how many people have checked out your webinar, your webinar replay. And they have this really cool webinar master switch. So you can set the page display for um, this link, which is what you're gonna send people to for your webinar, to each stage of your webinar cycle. So say you're not ready to do the webinar yet and you're trying to get people on board, capture their email address uh, to send to the webinar. Well, basically then what you would do is you would have it toggle to the countdown page or the uh, this is the landing page. Now, if it's time for the live webinar and you want people to see it, then you would toggle it to the live one. Or if you want it on replay, you toggle it to the replay one. Or you can do it to closed as well. And then this link here is, uh, this is what you're gonna give people or have them click to go and join your webinar or register for your webinar. Now, to get people on the webinar, you're gonna have to capture their email address and get them to sign up. And that's where the landing page uh, part comes in. And there's a lot of different ways that you can create your landing page. Uh, you can edit the headlines with their templates. Um, you can edit the sales copy. Uh, we don't have time to get into every single detail, but basically you can see that you can edit just about everything, including this really cool Facebook Connect settings where they can just connect with their Facebook. So watch the webinar and you capture their email address that way. Um, and uh, you can edit in different opt-in forms, whatever one you're using, and change the date. Then you have the thank you page after they've opted in. Again, you can customize everything, give them the URL. Um, if Say if you wanted to give them a gift, there's a, a share to unlock the gift page, uh, tickets, uh, another countdown area until the webinar is live. Lots of customization stuff. Then on the live webinar, basically how this works is you are going to paste that uh, that uh, embed code, the, I, the frame code that I showed you that your Google Hangouts gave you into here. So whenever they click the link, they're gonna see the Hangout on the page because uh, you give it the live embed code, only it's gonna be 
a lot more than just that uh, video they're going to be watching because you can customize a lot of stuff around it to make it look just like those uh, go to webinar pages and actually make it a, a look a lot better than those um, you can because you can edit the background settings the colors um, it has a built-in question and answer area uh, you can actually edit like turn your speakers up copy so that they're listening uh, you can have them invite other friends edit uh, a number to call if they want to join that way uh, and then another cool thing is that um, you can do live giveaways on the webinar so if you're trying to pre-sell something like a software product that you're gonna launch and you want uh, to people to stay on the webinar to get a lot of attention uh, basically what you can do is uh, do this edit live uh, edit a live giveaway which will uh, allow you to uh, uh, get, basically give you some text and a headline to enter your uh, giveaway copy along with a countdown timer as well and then of course there's a webinar replay uh, you can set the webinars uh, to just go on replay after but it still has all those customization settings after it and then there's uh, very important is the live question and answer now uh, the Google Hangouts they have that question and answer tab but um, that was recently put in and it's really not that great uh, so you can actually use their built-in one to answer live questions people are asking or you can integrate a third-party code so if you have a chat system that you really like that you want to integrate into uh, your webinar to answer live questions you can do that as well or uh, something that people have done is they integrate like the Facebook one and then do a webinar and replay and that really adds social proof because they see all these Facebook comments people add um, and then the webinar is on top and then there's stuff where you can integrate, you can actually have it um, uh, automatically notify people about the webinar, uh, like GoTo, I think GoToWebinar does this, where you don't have to uh, actually go and email them, you can integrate SendGrid, and it will notify them automatically about when it's gonna start. And there's a lot of extra settings as well you can use to customize it however you want. Uh, so there you have it, very easy. Get your own webinar live and running, uh, very fast, there wasn't a lot of tech know-how and not a lot of headaches and not a lot of scary stuff like um, the go-to webinar where sometimes the technology uh, they get on the webinar and it doesn't work and you've heard a lot of bad stories about uh, people trying to call go-to webinar and they uh, the, the people wouldn't provide support and they basically watched a thousand people they registered go away and like I said webinars alongside from email marketing is one of if not the most powerful way to grow your business list and sell products even if you don't have a huge audience and you don't even have to sell anything to benefit from webinars so I know one marketer who uh, has like a weekly question and answer session on a Google Hangout uh, webinar integration like this and then just records that webinar and uploads it to various social media or YouTube channels and then that builds their list as well well, at the same time, forming uh, a rapport and uh, branding with and building trust with the list as well. So if you found this training helpful and you want to get into the webinar business uh, with Webinar Hero, I've created some great bonuses you can check out below, um, both with some of the top white label and private label rights products, but also additional training that I personally created for this that you're not going to find anywhere else to actually help you get started with webinars including a, uh, a whole guide on Google Hangouts that's going to dive a lot deeper into everything you need to know and a whole troubleshooting section so that um, you don't start your first webinar and then something doesn't go right or something's not working uh, so you can do everything correctly 100% out of the gate so make sure to check this out um, while the price is still very low and check out Webinar Hero to learn more about it, and I'll talk to you soon.